One of the greatest differences between the War of Independence in 1948 and the Six Day War in 1967 is indeed the fate of Jerusalem. It couldn't have been a more different experience. Jerusalem was lost so quickly in 1948 and gained so quickly unexpectedly in 1967. So much so that within the first two weeks of the War of Independence, a war which lasted for nine months, Jerusalem was lost. The, May start, the, the war started on May 14th. By the 29th, 30th of May, the old city had been conquered by the Jordanians. They had already, uh, there was a surrender of the, the Jewish quarter. Many were killed, many taken to captivity. Within two weeks, Jerusalem was lost. East Jerusalem, the Holy Jerusalem, the Temple Mount, etc., the Kotel. Yet, 19 years later, it was won so quickly and unexpectedly. We didn't even want to fight with the Jordanians. We were defending ourselves against the aggression of these, the Syrians in the north and the Egyptians in the south. King uh, Hussein uh, was begged time after time not to attack. And even when he attacked, he was begged to stop attacking. And yet, somehow, with a twist and turn of events, with the Jordanian legion actually retreating on the second uh, night of the war, and literally the next day, Jerusalem, so to speak, falling into Israeli hands in the most incredible way. How is it that it was won so quickly here and lost so quickly there? Says incredibly Rabbi Moshe Tzvineria, the famous student of Rabbi Kuk, who actually said this, on the fourth, fourth or fifth day of the war, he was giving a talk in Jerusalem while the war was going on. After Jerusalem came back to Jewish control, he said to a group of teachers, he says, you know why? He says, because during the war of independence, we were not united. In fact, we were divided so much so that we did not yet have an Israeli defense force. We were fighting amongst each other. The famous or infamous Altalena affair, where literally Jews were shooting on Jews over, over the ammunition because there was no Israeli defense force. The Haganah said it, the, the weapons should belong to it. The... Uh, the uh, Irgun and Begin said it should belong to them and in fact in the battle over Jerusalem they were the, the, the Irgun and the Haganah fought two different battles the Irgun was going through Damascus gates trying to conquer and be the first to conquer the the, 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 uh, the old city and the Haganah and the Palmach were going through Zion gate they were not coordinating things they were fighting as two different armed forces if there's no Israel united defense force if the people aren't together you cannot be victorious over Jerusalem because that's the nature of Jerusalem and yet in 1967 Political enemies came together from left and right to form one national unity government in times of crisis. The Israeli Defense Force was one, absolutely together fighting as one. When we were unified politically, unified militarily, unified at that point even socially, on every level, we were able to achieve the impossible Jerusalem. Because that, for the first time in almost 2,000 years, that is the essence of Yerushalayim. And may we all, this Yom Yerushalayim, 55 years later, continue to merit the miracle, that, that miracle of unity. We should continue to aspire for that. And if we're able in ourselves to accept others and bring ourselves together, we will merit Bezrat Hashem until the end of days, Bezrat Hashem, not only the reunification of Yerushalayim, but also the rebuilding of the Beit HaMikdash. Shabbat Shalom, Yom Yerushalayim Sameach.